Love is God. Live in love. Om Shri Sai Ram. Welcome to one more episode of OMS. This was in the year 2000, March 2000. Shivaratri was fast approaching. I had just joined for MBA and that year was my first year. And I had heard that the previous year, Swami had done the Lingodham. And I heard some exhilarating experiences from other boys. But one experience which stood out was shared by one brother. He said that all of us talk so much about Lingod Bhavan, but no one thinks about the Creator Himself, the one who has actually created the, created the Lingam. So this thought stayed with me for some time. Come Shivaratri, the Kulvan Thal was overflowing with devotees. There was not even a speck of place in the whole hall. Swami came, Swami gave His discourse, and then He commanded for the bhajans to start. After the bhajans started, there was uneasiness which we were able to notice in him. Then he asked for some water and then after an ordeal of around half an hour to 45 minutes, the lingam emerged from his mouth. It was a charged atmosphere. Everyone was excited. And then to add to the excitement, Swami got up from his seat. Swami took the lingam with him and started showing it to all of us. At that moment, Strangely, one thought struck me. I thought, why should I look at the Lingam, which is so beautiful, it is so grand, so majestic. Let me look at Swami Himself who has created the Lingam. Strange, isn't it? But it just stayed with me and I decided, okay Swami, let me look at you only, not at the Lingam. I was sitting in the third block. On the right side of the third block, the right flank of the third block, Swami glided, came towards the left side of the third block. Third block is uh, the place just before the Sai Sanidhi. Swami went towards the left side. He was showing the lingam to all the students, all the devotees. Then he came on the back side of third block, showing again the lingam, telling that this is pure gold. It is called Hirinagarbha. It just emerges when you have purity. And then he comes towards our side, the right side. Even all this while, my gaze was on Swami. I was myself surprised about it. Then two steps before he reaches me. Till then he was showing the lingam to all the boys and explaining about the lingam, the beauty of it, the, the deep mystery of the lingam, how it, how it comes out, how it emerges. The moment he was two steps from me, he takes a 180 degree turn. He takes the lingam and shows it to the students, primary school students who are sitting on the other side and those senior devotees, women who are sitting there and explaining to them the same fact. Unnoticed by all of them, he comes very close to me. His back is towards me. I am just sitting with my outstretched palms for Swami's blessing. He just comes gently catches my both palms with his left hand, presses them, and then walks away. Actually, it's, it's, it's a non-event. Nothing was, no, no one noticed it at all. But there was a very, very profound message for me that what you thought is correct. No, not I thought. I feel he planted the thought. He made me do that that I should only look at him, not the lingam. And then he comes to me, acknowledges that thought and says, yes, the only goal should be the creator, not the creation. So I feel that in our lives also, if we keep Bhagwan or God as our center, everything else will be automatically added onto us. Sai Ram. <laughs>